welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here my name is diana and welcome to my canal for today's video we are going to be doing a cat eye blue a blue cat eye look um, that I was tagged from a friend of mine and I wanted to recreate it I will be leaving the link of the person that I saw this makeup look on hers was a little bit different a little bit different is almost very similar I believe hers was more of a matte blue eyeshadow mine is a little bit more of a glittery eyeshadow but i will be leaving everything down below about how i got this look and how you guys can get this look let's get started so the first thing is i'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye the primer that i'm gonna be using is the mac paint and Lake paint pot which looks just like this um this one is a little bit more in the pinkish zone um i want to get the soap ochre which i do have um but i'm gonna go ahead and use this first because i don't like to open too much containers that's just me this one is tapping motions on my eyelid eyes have been prime I i'm going to be using the elf um ocean eyes glitter eyeshadow just to make the line first um so what i'm going to be doing is basically doing a line outwards just like that guys have any blue gel liners um i would say go ahead and use that um i didn't have any so that's why i am using the elf glitter um eyeshadow but if you have that then do that first so basically what i'm gonna do is gonna follow the crease that i have here basically right there and i'm gonna do a line as as curved as can be And all you're going to do is connect them together here. So I'm just creating that line. I feel like I, it's a little bit bright. Is it too bright? But if you have a blue gel liner, like I said, this is going to be a little bit more easier to do versus the way I'm doing it, I feel. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. So the palette that I'm going to be using to kind of shade in everything is going to be the Morphe James Charles palette, Cola, which is a very dark blue, a Morphe M433 brush, and I'm going to grab this blue right here, and I'm just going to shade it in all around. Um, so what have you guys been up to lately? I feel like we're slowly coming back to our normal lives. Um, it's not 100% there, but slowly we are getting there. Um, I'm trying to so stay busy working and trying to do videos um, because it's a great distraction for me. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So I can't get right here with this brush so i'm going to switch a brush in a little bit so i'm going to start doing the other eye i usually don't do looks like this but i really wanted to do something different for today's video go back with my elf um eyeshadow glitter and basically i'm going to put it on top of this so just like so So 
So I'm do the other eye. And it doesn't separate the shadow that I have underneath at all. So that is a plus. Because sometimes some sometimes some glitters can really like move the product underneath it. But this is not one of them. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean it up. And I did use the Garnier Micellar Water. Uh, clean it up like so. Whoop. Um, basically this is all I'm going to do to my eyes. The I'm going to be using is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, um, aside from the Roller Lash by Benefit. But this one definitely coats my lashes very, very nicely. Um, it doesn't clump them. It doesn't do anything crazy. It really basically, um, it's great length. Um, without clumping it it gives a little bit of volume um, not so much but it doesn't clump them up so that is really really good um, for a mascara because you don't want I mean personally for myself I don't want a mascara that's going to clump my lashes I want them to look as separated as possible but also have a little bit of thickness uh, to them if that makes any sense so I did pop my lashes um, I have them on and these are on uh, and these are in the style Indolence by Allure Lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and now prime my face. And the two primers that I'm going to be using for today's video is going to be the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. And of course my Holy Grail Professional Primer for my pores. Good pea size. And really work it into my T-zone first. primer I'm going to be using is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Grip. Um, this one comes in the form of, of a lotion, um, as you can see here. But once it kind of dries down, it has that tacky feel to it, uh, like that stickiness. So it's really going to grip to your foundation. And then I kind of just press on it to get that tackiness. Tackiness going oh my god i forgot to get my foundation what i'm going to be using today is the beyond perfecting foundation and concealer by clinique and the shade i'm going to be using is 18 sand and basically all i do is this so this foundation is going to be your full coverage foundation um they have been, i believe they have like 48 shades or 38 shades and this um which is a really great range for a foundation um so this foundation is also a very natural matte finish which means that it's not going to be so mattifying and it's not going to be so dewy it's going to be that perfect foundation um everyday wear situation um i love this foundation so much for that reason i prefer my foundations to be a little bit more on the natural side um I I don't mind it having a little bit of matte to them, but I cannot do a foundation that is too, too matte. The only one that I know that I can do like that is the Estee Lauder, oh, that Lauder, Estee Lauder foundation, um, the double wear. But I do hydrate my skin prior to that foundation, like a lot, only because I know it's going to be too too matte and it's gonna flat me out which i hate i like to have like you know that nice radiant natural finish look to me to my face sorry um so and i only use that foundation during um summertime because they get so so humid where i live it is like you go outside it's 85 degrees and it's humid so in reality, it feels like 110. Um, it really does pretty good job with um, with the humid down here. So. The other I'm going to be using today is the Smashbox 
Studio Finish Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Medium Warm Olive. We will make it work. And this, this foundation is definitely more on the liquidy side. Like this applicator sponge. Alright guys, I do apologize. My camera died and then also my memory was full. So I had to switch the memory and replace the battery. So just I blended it all out. Um, so that's just where we left off. So I'm going to now set my concealer and I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. I recently picked this up, so let's see how it works. Oh, got a little a little carried away there. And this is in the shade Banana. Um, I was looking for a drugstore powder, setting powder, and this one had the most great reviews. Um, so I wanted to try this out and see how great it was. So I'm going to be using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer. At, and I believe this is the Ipanema Sun Bronzer. No, I believe. I know it is. I have my Morphe white brush and I'm just going to warm my skin like so. I love this one for summertime. It gives you the most beautiful bronze look. Like without even trying. As you can see here. Look how. And I'm going to do my nails. I always do my nails with big brushes. I know some people like it small. But I, I like my bow like this. And then under my lip as well. Just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust my powder. And I always bring it upwards. Just on this part. And then this one as well. I just kind of sweep back and forth. Actually, this banana powder is doing pretty good. It's giving me a really nice matte finish. A little bit underneath my eye. But it's not so matte that it's too dry underneath. You know what I mean? Because there's sometimes some setting powders that are so dry and you can feel them like crusting underneath your eyes. For my blush, I am going to be using, once again, the Milani um, blush. And this is in the shade 01 Dulce Pink. But like a nice shimmer. It almost looks mauve but it's not uh, blush, which I really, really like. This one does have a little bit of shimmer, so it's going to give you... You see that kind of glow there? That... Oop, let me move this. It gives like a very natural glow to your cheeks, which I love. And I'm also going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder. Now, this highlighter is amazing i haven't i don't think i have i don't think i've encountered another drugstore highlighter as intense as this one show you the glow of this it is so real you don't have to wet the brush or anything like that so i'm just gonna go ahead and get it very lightly and then i mean like look how blinding that is like it is intense so I'm just gonna really gonna mix this one on the other side and keep it so so for my lip liner I'm gonna use the LA girl ultimate lip liner and keep it spicy and I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips my lipstick i'm going to be using um artist couture and angel baby blend everything together i 
and lastly i'm gonna go ahead and use my nyx butter gloss and madden line i'm actually liking this gloss so much and i'm just putting in my cube as well and underneath just like that is cover my eyes and set my whole face That is it for today's video. It was a very simple eye makeup look um, to achieve. Um, anybody can do it, so I believe that you guys can also do it. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys don't miss on any fun in this channel. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys.